Okay, can you see it now? This? Yes, we can. Yeah, yeah. Can you see it simply now. Okay. Uh, you have to go to the control panel. And uh, in the control panel, you have a lot of uh, options. And uh, if you go to website on the left here and scroll a little bit down, you can see a thing called subdomains. So if you don't want your uh, WordPress to overwrite what you've been doing at the exam, or if you want to have, say, a subdomain for something uh, else, then you can create a subdomain here. So the first step is create a subdomain. Then we do that here. Now you can see it. Um, and uh, you can see I have several subdomains here. Uh, and um, one of them, that one is actually a subdomain for, uh, from a student uh, last year, but um, or early on this semester. But if you want to have a subdomain, you click on this very big button here, most wanted response button. And then you give it a name. You could call it say exam WP or something like that. Ah, oh, it's a bad idea with this line here or minus. So exam WP dot thos dot DK and you, yours will of course be yours. And then I create the subdomain. That's all it takes. Now we, we basically have a folder where we can place our WordPress. So you can see here that uh, it's up and running. And then uh, luckily we have this one click option. So if you click on that, now you can install tons of different things. But let's say that uh, the block we want to create is like a standard WordPress block. Then you can just take this uh, standard thing you see here. And uh, if you choose WordPress here, you can see that you can install it in one click. Uh, however, I don't want to override my source.bk, so I want to have it in, say, the exam WP here. So you can choose from, from this crop down list where you want to place your WordPress. Now you can see that uh, it's almost ready. Then you should create a username. I think my name is Pierre, so I'll use that. And uh, then you need a password. Um, you can even make it a strong one if you want to, or you can have something else. I'll just copy this one. Um, and here at the uh, site name, you can just write what your site should be called. So uh, it could be sample, exam. And this is uh, the title that would be used by the title block, actually, if you use that. Uh, then you can create it uh, in any language you want to. I would prefer English though. Uh, and uh, then I can accept and, and install. And then when I click this button, this WordPress will be created. So that's actually how you, you create a subdomain and, and a WordPress there. I won't press it, uh, press enter now, but I can show you that if we say as for this, one here, you can see that, that it comes up right away. So that's actually a WordPress that had, has been created earlier on in, in a subdomain. Or you can see where I'm experimenting right now, that's yet another WordPress. So you can have all the WordPresses you want to have uh, in this way. And uh, if you want to know where the files are, you can always go into the, the, the website and uh, and, or sorry, the file manager, I mean. And then you can see it here. You can see uh, exam WP is actually made as a folder here. And I did not create a WordPress there, um, but it's actually a subdomain that we have here and the files will be there. And if you have like another WordPress installed, this is a WooCommerce thing I, I made, then you can see that uh, the files are here. So if you need to, to upload something manually, then you can go in and, and see things here. So um, that's basically uh, the way to, to create a subdomain for your report.